Hello everyone. Welcome back to Kenshi. Now that we have our new settlement set up, uh, which I'll think of a name for at some point, uh, hopefully, maybe, we're gonna do a bit of ruin stealthing. There was that uh, one ruin on the cliffside at the edge of the hidden, hidden forest, because uh, we need engineering plans. Uh, that's kind of where our bottleneck is. They're gonna be tough. Uh, security spiders, especially the higher level ones, are not not good fights for our group, especially with our training weapons. Uh, if we don't have any luck nearby, we will instead send a small group down to Black Desert, because I think they have a few for sale. Uh, but other than that, we're going to be exploring the area, maybe fighting cannibals. Uh, and there's that village just across the bay. Might be friendly. So we're going to send a small group over there, see what they're like. Uh, friendly would be great. Just have some nearby trading partners. Yeah, this is our base. Nothing's changed since last time. Uh, we're still short on building materials. So it'll just be... Uh, just give them time to rebuild them. Our farms are all growing. Let's start off sending Risteko off to that uh, next village. If it's cannibals or whatever, we'll back off, but uh, it doesn't look like it. No, it looks like we have dead cat fishermen. So it looks like it's a little fishing village. Uh, they have no gate, which seems dangerous. And their walls are as janked up as ours, so nice. Oh, we got... A little bit of food we can buy here. Got a big old bar. Doesn't look like any other services though. Oh, Hobbs, he's a unique. Green finger. I think this guy's a unique. Lots of recruits here, though. Uh, let's trade. Just fish. So not as interesting as I was hoping. No general goods. Oh, here's a travel shop, though. Uh, they do have a cannibal, so yeah, they're going to... They're going to have cannibal issues. Us being this close might cause them issues because they'll be loaded more often. They have some general supplies. A couple recipes. Hmm, weird. We already know that. Oh, some cotton. Uh, hmm. We'll buy as much of this as we can. Just to help get our cotton farm upgraded. Well, that would have been nice to know earlier. Yeah, we're going to prep... Uh, prep to check out this ruin, I think. Hopefully it's not too... Uh, too dangerous. Some of those ruins can have like a dozen security spiders in them. Just a hungry bandit. So we'll set up a cotton storage, I guess. We didn't build one of those yet. But that's easy enough. Yeah, good enough. And let's dump off what we bought. I think this is good. Uh, our iron's looking good. Building materials are catching up. So I'm going to take a minute to prepare. Uh, we'll go find a way to get this ruin 
I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of cannibals and stuff in there. So let's uh, dump off our spare stuff and get ready to go there. I don't want to keep this, or I don't want to leave this place uh, unattended entirely. Uh, still a little low on food production side of things. So I'm going to leave the farmers uh, and some of the other workers in the back. Uh, bring in most of the... Most of our more specialist fighters. Um, not really an elite squad, but maybe a little more elite than some of them. Uh, as well as our two animals. So we're going to send them out. We have mercenary support at the base for five more days. So if we are attacked while uh, the others are gone, I'm not worried. If we're careful with the security spiders, uh, this group is... This group can handle them. Deep, I'm going to turn you off that iron resource because you're way out there. You know, we'll have to keep our eyes peeled. We got, uh, we got cannibals, of course. We have uh, screeching bandits or whatever they were. Oh, there's some cannibals right now. It's not what we're here for. Oh, here we got some shriekers. Oh, they're coming by. So they're yelling at me. Uh, I'm going to yell R got them. I, uh, okay, that was... That was the bad yell. So for Kellen... So I'm pretty sure if, if you yell the right random things, uh, they'll, uh, they'll be fine with it and run away. These guys actually are pretty decent. 27, 37. Good training. Won't, won't mind them hitting the uh, base now and then. Okay, let's keep going. Another village over here. We'll uh, take a peek at it. Took a few hits from those uh, screeching bandits, but not really enough to dissuade me from keeping on. Now, where is that village? Oh, here we go. Yeah, this doesn't look like a friendly village. Not in the least. Let's just get up and take a look at them. Yeah, not a good place. Lots of captured shrieking bandits. Potentially... Wow. This is completely loaded. I don't know if Shrieking Bandits are too strong or not, uh, but if you freed them, they might volunteer to join. But yeah, this is just Cannibal Town. Uh, we're not interested in attacking them. Maybe later. 36 residents, uh, 69 actual residents, nice. 57 roaming. So yeah, it's quite populated. Uh, and most of these cannibals are just fodder, but they likely have some more leaders or some other leaders somewhere. But this is where they would take anyone that they did capture. They don't have small, uh, they don't have small little camps set up like the Fogmen do. Uh, they've got a full city. And I believe they have more than that. Uh, but this is the farthest north and the farthest northwest I've ever been. So a lot of this will be new to me. Mm 
Let's see the floodlands a little bit from here. The little floating drones. There we go. Whoa. Didn't even see these guys. Okay, scrawny cannibals. These are even worse than the other ones. Uh, got some weird masks on. But let's uh, let's just move a little bit and then separate. We'll keep Rue passive for this fight. Uh, burn, let's... Uh, I should have... Should have did your inventory before I moved in. Yeah, so it looks like they just have... Rusty poles. Uh, owls on the turret for some reason. I, okay. But who are you fighting? Okay, so she just picked her duty up for some reason. Did I... No, I didn't misclick you. You can keep cooking, though. Uh, get that going. Operating cooking stove. Just need bread and green fruit, which you have. Do you need inventory space? Don't know what your problem is. Hmm, I don't know what Owl is doing. Protect allies. Is it because the other group is under attack, like a mile away? Okay, weird. I don't think the uh, crossbow turrets quite have the range to be helping out, but, you know. Thanks for the thought, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. Get back to the ruin. Oh, these guys are hard to see, but uh, I think there's another group up here getting absolutely murdered by a security spider, iron spider. So yeah, this rune will definitely be defended. And we're in good shape for this fight, so let's get for Kellen to kite them around a little bit and then start shooting. Would actually be good training for a lot of our new members. Uh, single digit stats. I don't think they're doing much for our group here. I wonder if there's also a stronger tier of cannibal. Okay. Actually did decent damage to that spider's chest. I'd love to avoid it if we can. Just a lot of hate or a lot of hit points we'd have to dig through to take it out. Bridge looks safe. Oh, there's a cannibal camp over there too. Must be why there were so many scrawny cannibals or scrawny cannibals on the hill. Suspicious lab, faction cannibal. Thirty-one residents. 
So let's be careful. This might just be full of cannibals. If it is, we might bring the rest of them, or the rest of our town over. A little quick peek in. Okay, so this one's definitely weird. Oh, hello. Cannibal, cannibal. So these guys aren't powerful. Uh, we could just bring everyone in. Just some cages up top. Maybe a little bit of loot. Though still worth... Yeah, lots of boxes to check out. Do you have any captives? Doesn't look like it. Well, they have probably 30, 31 cannibals according to the population tracker. None of them seem too strong. Uh, I don't see any special war leader or cannibal leader. I think we're going to do a bit change of plans. Let's uh, the mistake was just sneaking through the building. That's whatever. Yeah, I think we'll bring uh, our full force. So we're not dealing with spiders, uh, except for the guy out here. So we'll meet them part way. Hmm, spider's gone. Hmm. Wonder what that group is. Is that someone coming? Oh, we have a cannibal raid targeting our outpost. Uh, so I guess change of plans. We'll try to get our Stakos group back. How do I get down again? Oh, big, uh, no more screeching bandits. Let's back up. Okay, they're just screaming. Uh, we'll leave them for now. some cannibals. How fast are they? 17. We'll just keep running. Hey, what's everyone looking like here? We're going to want to drop off any additional weight. Uh, so I'll deal with that while uh, while the cannibals are coming. Uh, Digna, where are you? Yeah, that should be okay. Can we see the cannibals from this part? Not quite, uh... Could close the gate preemptively. Okay, big number of them. Wow. Okay, they're just scrawnies. So I'm not worried. We still have the two groups of mercenaries. Contract's only half over. 
Uh, but let's get everyone ready. Owl was on this turret, so let's actually get a couple turret people going to. Uh, who else wants to do that for now? He's aren't sure. A couple turret operators. Hey, and they're just going to run right in. So let's... Let's just run our stake this group over. And they have... Yeah, they've broken in. The, the turrets are... a ton of damage, as you can kind of see. Yeah, definitely glad I have the mercenaries. Uh, especially since Merstakos group is down. These guys aren't trained in turrets, so there's a good chance they're going to be putting bolts into friendlies. But looking at the sea of green numbers, well, except for that little group of red, uh, we're doing fine. Couple down. Nothing too serious. But we're we're cleaning up. Okay, let's get, get get you two off turrets. We don't need that power anymore. Okay, that wasn't bad. Get jobs going. Uh, actually, let's medic first and then get jobs going. We'll regroup once Merseco's group is back, uh, and then we'll go in force. The mercenaries will bandage everyone up to. It's kind of one of their contract things. You guys really like those turrets, don't you? Oh, because we're, we're under attack. Oh, they backed up. Oh yeah, it's kind of neat. I never, I've never noticed people do turrets that way before. Okay, that's good. Everyone's back. So while people are resting, we will uh, clean up everyone's inventory that I forgot to do before we left. Uh, so that was Burn for Kellen. He's got a bunch of garbage on him. Okay, a couple of people wounded. Uh, so once they're in better shape, uh, I think they'll be good enough to go. We'll just stick around for now. Not too long. So they have, they have 30, 30 something people in that lab. Uh, we're going to be coming with, what, 20? But, uh... While they're not as weak as these scrawny cannibals, we're, we still vastly overpower them. So I'm not worried about that at all. Oh, quick inventory check. Probably not going to get uh, a great haul uh, of high tech, high tech stuff from uh, that ruin, but they did have a lot of storage boxes. So I'm hoping, you know, something reasonable. Yeah, I think everyone's mostly in decent, decent spot. This green fruit's almost uh, ready to harvest. So once this is done and the farmers do their work on it, we'll uh, we'll head out. A oh, little fight going on outside. Lots of ninjas versus cannibals. Okay. 
So we do have some flots and patrols in the area. How strong are they? 53 offense, 7 defense. That's that's quite the spread. Yeah, so they are all offense. Looks like some assassins regs. Probably katanas or guardless katanas. Perfect for killing cannibals. Not perfect for getting hit by them. Okay, cat, you're a little beat up, but I don't want to wait for you. So let's uh let's just see how everyone's doing quick. Inventories are empty enough. Let's get rid of some of these bulky backpacks. Okay, good to go. So we'll have... Well, not like it matters so much, but we have a few more days. Yeah, four more days still for these uh, mercenaries. But even if our base was attacked, uh, they're probably just going to mill about uh, and then get bored. Although sometimes they will actually occupy the place. They'll stand around, uh, they'll start manning turrets if there are any. So there is that slight risk that if we didn't have the mercenaries there and some cannibals raided the base and we weren't there, uh, we might set up shop for a while. It's not like it's going to spawn things like a, a camp or anything. Uh, but when we did want the base, we'd have to flush it out. Oh, big field of cannibals up there. Oh, Shrieking Bandits. If they're chill, I'm chill. Another Shrieking Bandit. Oh, they're gonna shriek. And who's that? Berserkers. Uh, so yeah, I guess, I guess we have Shrek, Shrek Berserkers out here too. Uh, we'll leave the bandits to them. Hopefully they'll fight each other off. No, they are fighting us. Okay, Berserker. That was very rude of you. No, it's the Shrieking Bandits. Well, let's get a little open of an area. And if these Shrieking Bandits want to fight, we'll uh, give it to them. They do have a lot of them. Uh, and they're reasonably strong. Okay, now you're talking to me. Uh, Lugan. Okay, yeah, it's fight time. Ignis holding on to someone, you can put them down. The Shrieking Bandits can deal a lot of damage. Like they got some half decent stats, uh, and these cleavers are. Uh, they got some beef behind them. But they're unarmored, uh, and with their katanas being anti human weapons, uh, they're not really going to stand much of a chance. Plus, on average, we're probably as strong, if not. Stronger. Hey, Izumi, I don't know where you're going. Take a bit of damage. Nothing I'm worried about. So we should have a lot of interesting combat out here, I guess. Uh, good variety of stat spreads when we do need to do some training. Yeah, looks like we're home free getting to this lab again. Don't have that security spider out here either. So, could just run in uh, and just aggro the whole group of them. But I think, I think I want to draw them out. We'll back up everyone, set them on passive, uh, and we'll send, send Mersteko in, just to say hello. Am 
Oh yeah, they're upstairs. Can I... Yeah, let's just run up and say hello. Hey, losers. Oh yeah, most of them, if not all of them, are following. No, they stopped. We might need to sit up on the bottom floor, maybe. Eh, three's better than nothing. Uh, Burn, you have your big backpack on. Let's take that off. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we'll set up on the main floor. And same thing, I'll just pop up with Merseco. Yeah, so we got. Twenty fifteen, not even, not even. Yeah, so the big ones are around twenty. Looking at our characters, we only have a few that are, you know, reasonably lower than that. So even though we're, we're a bit damaged, and I think the cleavers they're using can do a bit of AoE damage, depending on how close they are. Uh, I'm not worried about this at all. Trico Digna. Solid head hit there. Okay. I guess it's because this is a faction base and not just a, a ruin, like a normal ruin. We can't actually build camp beds in here. That's okay. They're all dead. So... Dried meat, we'll pick up bread, sure. Just leaving a nice trail of uh, loot. So let's see what is upstairs. The well, second floor. Research bench, research bench. Uh, these boxes are nothing. Uh, these benches are probably empty. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but we can use these beds, so let's get a few people resting up. Okay, good enough. Seven cats, jackpot. Uh, let's get the robots up here. They've got some carrying capacity. Combat cleaver. It's a cat too. It's worth a little bit. And the rest is garbage. Oops. Didn't want to bring all of you. Uh, Miu, you, you were hurt. You can go back to bed. Uh, I think cat was hurt too. Yep. And trike. Might as well. And ancient science. We're not leaving empty handed. A plumpty science. Or ancient science.
Ooh, a specialist scout leg. We'll hold on to, hold on to that. Ooh, bunch of garbage. Uh, black and chain shirt we'll definitely take. Ring Saber Mark III, yeah, sure. Uh, who else has inventory? Uh, Mark III Ninja Blade, sure. Uh, standard chainmail, not bad. Uh, cargo pants with chain in them, we'll take. Uh, the rest is mostly heavy armor, uh, so nothing I want to burden myself with. Another scout leg, okay. So nothing fancy actually, unfortunate. We got some ancient science, which we'll we'll need. Did I check all of these? Yep. I think that is it for this, uh, this ruin. Oh, we got some loot boxes back here. All right, nothing interesting. So nothing too exciting from this uh, little excursion. I guess the question is now, do we want to do a bit of a clockwise loop maybe? Hit the coast again, skip the cannibal village, uh, and just see, see if we can find another ruin or something interesting. Uh, we'll spend a little bit of time resting while we're here. I don't expect we'll have a clear shot to get back to the base. So might as well use the time we have to uh, rest up. I guess picking up dried meat in a cannibal lair is a questionable choice. Let's rest up for a little bit. And yeah, we'll uh, do a bit of a roundabout path, I guess. Explore this next region. Kind of move clockwise around to the coast. Uh, and if there's something interesting to explore, we will. Uh, and if not, we'll just keep going. Okay, we're in good enough shape. Uh, not everyone's at quite full, but uh, should be good enough to continue our little voyage. So those cannibals still had the usual assortment of varying bad qualities of cleaver. It eluded them for money. Uh, they were selling for about a thousand, fifteen hundred apiece, uh, which isn't nothing. Uh, and we've burned through quite a lot of our our stock, but I think when we want money, uh, it'll be easy enough to make it again. We're reaching uncharted territory now. Anyone else get the feeling we're being watched? That's because you are being watched. This is the Candle Plains, and we're the prey. Hold up. Candle Plains? Great. Out of one cooking pot into another. Literally. Oh, there's a ruin. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, include we run into. 
A bunch of dead cannibals. Oh, a beak thing. Hello. Hello, my old friend. Yeah, so we're not going to worry about a beak thing. Uh, could have been eating these cannibals in peace, but he decided to attack us. That is good to know that if we if we do need beak things again, leather, uh, meat, uh, they are in the area. Hold still. Come on. Just hit him. Nope. Sands, you don't feel like doing anything? Just hit him anywhere, like. It's such a weird fight. Why isn't anyone trying to do anything? Well, I know these guys are on hold position, but like. Maybe yeah, but let's deal with this. Uh, so great thing about having a pack beast. We'll just grab everything, throw it in. Uh, it doesn't take up any space. And how's everyone doing? Sans took a few hits from that beak thing, fortunately. So if we do run into something threatening, uh, we'll have to watch out for him. Let's see what this ruin is. It looks like it's just a ruined village. We're not going to find anything. Discover dead cat. Hmm. He's fishing. A fishing village with a dead cat fisherman. That well, might be a friendly place. Doesn't look like there's any life here. Old village. Faction dead cat. Got some cannibals up here. Just about the 20s. Let's uh take a peek at dead cat. That reminds me, do you still have bolts? Oh yeah, you got a whole lot. Probably a cannibal camp down there. Maybe hunters. We'll uh, have to be careful. Hmm. Looks like a ruin. That might be dead cat. Unfortunate. Oh, who, who's getting grief? I'm just some scrawny bandits. Let's move up. We have the high ground. And that, that was enough for them. Okay. A couple big crowds of cannibals. Now that could potentially be dangerous. Oh yeah, that's right where the cannibal camp is. That would explain them. Uh, another small group of cannibals here. I'm going to try to sneak past them. Make it to these ruins. Looks like this is... Yeah, this is just a cannibal town now. Uh, oh, this guy's got a pretty big bounty. We've got a cannibal leader, it looks like, here. Uh, he's pretty beefy. Uh, his cannibal chief guards aren't anything to sneeze at. But we're not kitted out for a big battle like that, so let's, uh, actually, let's just get out of here. Discovered another village. Take another peek over there. Probably just another cannibal village, but it's good to map out the area. Looks like it. Typed cannibal shack? Yeah, so 
Probably just another cannibal encampment. Shrieking bandits. We'll keep our distance from them. Oh yeah, big cannibal. Big cannibal group. Okay, nothing we're interested in. But I think we're far enough west for now. I don't want to overextend. So we'll just break north. Uh, kind of peek into what this terrain is. And then loop around, hit the coast. Oh, there's a leviathan. Oh, there's a beak thing next. Okay, well, we don't want to deal with that. We'll kill this one that's... We'll back up and kill any that are following us, but I don't want to spend all the time dealing with beak things. I'm not worried about them, but... Got other stuff I want to do. Okay, yeah, let's... Hold position, Verkellen. I'll let you help. Okay, good. Don't need you guys running off. I'm actually happy to see that, that are beak things out here, because uh, I use... I use beak things as a hunting ground all the time. A couple patrols over here. Leviathan Coast. I dig it. I wanted to just take a peek at the Leviathan, but... Uh, but beak things are getting in the way. Just a lone patrol out here. We'll probably, probably deal with him if he turns towards us. Yeah, here he comes. Not an elder. No, just an adult. Okay, well, same as same as usual. Just let the usual three take care of them. We'll split it up a bit later. Uh, when we got more people training. Uh, they're good to fight because their stats are really high. Uh, but when you fight them properly, they're not... Oops. They're not all that threatening. I think as we've seen a few times now. Well, there's a herd of leviathans. I think they're typically passive creatures, uh, but they're like stats aren't anything fancy here. But six thousand four hundred forty-two on a limb. Looks like some raptors over there. Lots of wildlife over here, so good uh, for when we need hunting. More leviathans. Not worried about the raptors. Kind of hoping we find some ruins, though. Really wanted to get some engineering research. But this place is pretty barren. Uh, looks like Garo's. Garos can attack you. Uh, discovered rune. Nice. Hey, we'll try to make our way up there. So sometimes when you're passing Garos, uh, one of your party members will start Xboxing, like stop moving, something like that. Uh, 
And if you keep moving, you'll spook the Garos and they'll charge you. Discovered outpost. That looks underwater. That's closer. What do we have over here? Uh, I'll just beak things versus Garos. I think the Leviathans will be chill, as long as we don't do anything to them. But what's... We have a door, so something might be in there. Uh, just some random... Random stuff, but because it's underwater, I don't want to deal with it. Uh, but I will swim out to that other one and see what's there. Lost Armory, okay. Uh, eight residents, 14 non-residents. So this is probably full of security spiders. Uh, and if there's that many of them, we'll just kite them to the Leviathan. Now let's take a quick peek in and see if there's... See what's over there. And Beak thing's just going for a swim. Not locked. Oh, run, don't sneak. Just get out of there. Good night. Okay, so... Security spider. Uh, just knock mistake of the fuck out. He should wake up, but we might need to get someone... Yeah, it's too bad they were standing right by the door, but there's like five or six of them. Their attack scores are reaching near 60. Uh, so we're not going to want to deal with that. Not to worry about them, but... Uh, hopefully Sad Neil can just come pick them up. Pick up. Okay. So yeah, this will be... That'll be for later. We gotta be a lot stronger, a lot better armored, uh, and have some anti-robot weaponry. Uh, who's coming? A tech hunter. Oh, cool. He's gonna come uh, medic stuff for us. We're not allied with them, are we? Faction, tech hunters. No, we're neutral. We're... Okay. Marseiko's toughness is nice, though. Minus 31, uh, but he's still up. We'll have to have him chill if we can actually find our way up to that uh, ruin. We normally use him to tank uh, or distract bigger enemies, but he can't take another chest hit. With that last armory, uh, you'd expect to find uh, some decent weapons, uh, a random assortment of them. Nothing too exceptional. Maybe some armor. Uh, what else? We actually have some old, like, we use some of the ration packs. Let's see. Uh, Rue. We have these ration packs. There are ancient ranchet pa ration packs uh, that I guess are really well preserved. Uh, because they're still there, and they're the highest nutrition value in the game. Uh, but quite a limited number, uh, and whatever, it's just food. There's a lot of food sources. This looks pretty cool. Rue. Oh, are you angry at us? Let's, uh... Oh, beak things. Garo, beak thing. We're going to send Ruka on this beak thing. Uh, and Sans. No, he can fight the Garo. Yeah, gotta let it load a little. Let's 
some blood. Probably a beak thing fight here. Heart of Garo. Ah, uh, this ruin's destroyed. I don't think we're going to find anything here. That's too bad. We'll grab a couple books, because we do need them. Old Empire Watchtower. Second Empire. Unknown Residence. Uh,